Hello everyone and welcome back to Bridgecraft. My name is TA Speed and this is episode number 11. Yes. So, what am I up to today? Uh, well, I've torn out a swath of mangrove here and we're going to keep on tearing it out in that direction, this way I'm facing. And this is going to be our new farms. Our new actual produce farms. Not just farms for all sorts of nonsense like we have over there. So we're going to have uh, six greenhouses here, about this size. Just the perimeter is a stack of blocks. I'm just using netherrack to uh, lay them out. I didn't know quite how big I wanted them until I cleared out a space. And this is going to be a lot of space. I'm going to need to repair my hoe and my axe. My need, my, might make a new hoe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yep, yeah, so I want to extend this this way. And this will be where we grow all of our stuff, and I need to go and uh, grab some more gunpowder. So, uh, once again, this is a episode being recorded very close to release, closer than I would normally like, but I've been busy. Busy, 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 grab some more of those. Ah, yeah, actually that reminds me, there was, I said I'd go show you something in the last episode, and I didn't. So let's go do that. So if we pop over this way, I'll show you what I built in between episodes 9 and 10 while I was also gathering stuff. Back before I got busy for a few weeks. We come up here, we find a three-tier creeper farm. A design I inspired by, or I basically borrowed off of uh, someone, I can't remember who it is. But yeah, just a nice simple creeper farm. Creepers spawn on the platforms, get washed off by water. Uh, it, it stopped working. I AFK'd there for nine hours. And it worked initially, and then so many other entities spawned in the area that it stopped working properly. And I'll show you why they're all still here. Yep, they are. Um, <laughs> we have a bit of a bit of an infestation of ocelots. So, uh, anyone want to buy an ocelot? I have a few spare. But, yeah, so the, our gunpowder farm up there isn't working right now because of ocelots. I don't know what to do about this. I'd have to ch I have to tear out, like, a huge amount of land here to get rid of it. I might just relocate the creeper farm or build an entirely new one. Now that I've got more resources, now that resource gathering is easier. Anyway, I like to really change the game. Like, the world becomes so much smaller when you have the ability to fly around like this. But anyway, I spent most of today AFKing. I solved our. I, I temporarily solved our paper problem. We're going to have to build a much bigger farm, but we're probably going to have at least one greenhouse dedicated to sugarcane. It'll be manual harvest, not automatic. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know if these will be loaded, actually, from the house, but as I'm working on things over here, they'll be loaded. They're in behind the uh, storage warehouse slash uh, trading center. I haven't done any trading with these guys at all. I actually need to get a zombie in to beat them up and give me lower prices. Remember, always bully your villagers into cheaper trades. But yeah, we also have a ton of wool now. I might set up a wool shop at spawn. Um, selling everything except for dark grey because that's what I need. I've extended the road this way. I've switched to using oak plank or uh, mangrove slabs underneath because it's cheaper resource wise. And I have more of them than I have of deep slates. But I'm quite happy with how the road's going. We're going to put a little Gonna try and figure out how to put a little like buzzer here, get into the this area which is strictly staff only, no guests allowed, because this is my house as the groundskeeper, and then the resource depot, and then we're gonna have more roads coming up to like the greenhouses here, other other resource bits. I've got a, I've got an idea for a very interestingly shaped building. That'll be the park command center or like control center type thing. 
where everything's operating from. I've fallen down here. Oh, hello, frog. Cute. Um, but yeah. So, oh, another one. Hello. Uh, I'm lost now. Oh, here. There we go. That was good. Oh, we're just over here. Nice. So yeah, I'm going to keep tearing out trees, put down some more um, bases over here. Some more, like, whatever these are, outlines. And we'll figure, actually, no. Let's do something more interesting than building today. I need to repair my wings first, though. I really want to put unbreaking on these, but I don't have any unbreaking books. I don't have any unbreaking anything. I, I could do with uh, many, many more villagers, but uh, that's not happening right now. Right, tell you what. I'm going to go sort out some stuff, and then we're going to go end busting. Also, why is there not a crafting table in this corner? Oh, because the stone cut was here. Right, yep, yeah, I remember. Anyway, stuff, things. Back in a sec. Okay, right, I am here at the what? Hmm. I'm here at the uh, fortress, and I just decided to do a little bit of exploring before we went in. And I've just found uh, a library room. That's some very cool and interesting stuff. I'm going to steal all of the books from in here because we definitely need books. Mainly for trading with villagers. Well, basically entirely for trading with villagers. But, you know, books are great for making bookshelves, which are a lovely decorative item, which are great for themed builds. Not sure where we're going to squeeze a library in, but I'm relatively certain there will be one. Also, love how everything I break in here is just... Oh, that's one of those things. One of those, um... Spawns the Drowned. Uh, underwater Ruins. I think they're called. This is a lot of books, damn. Start a bookshop. Hmm. Now, I need to leave someone some business on the server they can run. I might have to punch up through the bottom here and see what we can find. Hello there. Ah. Yeah. Hello, sir. Thanks. This is literally as expansive as it gets. Can I mine this? Can I have this? Is this mine now? Does it need to be mined? It does need to be mined with silk touch. Sod. Oh uh, well. Right, that one was empty. I've got all these. Let's pop down here. Ooh, books. I missed some up here. Right, anyway, I'm going to grab the rest of these. Uh, full Frostwalker, Smite. More books. I'm going to need to crack open. I'm going to take the compass, actually. Uh, I'm going to need to crack open the ender chest as soon as we find one. And chuck all these in a shulker, because I didn't bring any with me. But I thought, oh, if we find one, if we find one, uh, I can put all the stuff in there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough space to carry all the loot if I just fill up on books now. I mean, I can literally come back here easier than I can to the end, so I don't know why I'm doing this. But apparently I'm still going. Because books... Yep, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back when I'm actually in the end. In we go. Okay, yep. Yeah, so I have a <laughs> I have, I have a lot of books. You can chuck. Actually, we can chuck some of this stuff out. You go. You go. Uh, who even used glazed terracotta? All right. Well, there's slightly less stuff. And in fact, I can use up this rocket. And switching a new stack. Wings aren't doing too bad. Right, let's hop up here. Ouch. Through the end gateway. Thank you. And we need to pick a direction. Which way is this way? East. That's... Back towards zero. We don't want to go that way, because that'll just lead us back where we came. <coughs> So I visited some down that way and some over that way, so I'm just going to head straight up this way today. Ooh, for some reason that scared the hell out of me. Even though I literally did it myself. 
Right, I hope we find a uh, end city sometime. Shop, fish. Okay, that's interesting. Just uh, another end gateway right there. But yep. Uh, anyway, I'll bring you back in once I've found an end city. Okay, that was nice and quick. I have already found one. I hope it has. Oh, it has a boat. Check out the boat. Yep, I haven't already been to this one. That is good, you can tell, because the shulkers are still alive. Oh boy, this means my inventory is going to fill right up. He's gone. So long, son. It was nice knowing you. Ooh, diamonds. Um, take the emeralds, because they're good for trading. Take the pickaxe. See, I want to take this stuff, because you can at least unenchant it, and then it's like gear for a mini game or something. How can I, hello, sir. Uh, I don't know if this has the room that has the ender chest in. I hope it does. Otherwise, I've got a lot of stuff to get rid of. This one? Nope. Oh, no, I think this has got the other type. Wait, hold on. It does. Oh, no. Right, I'm literally just going to loot and run. As uh, if I can carry any more loot. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Ow. Uh, I kind of want to grab all the diamond pickaxes. Right, on there. Uh, efficiency four I'm breaking. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of those five books. Two shulker shells. I've got a ton of shulker shells. Boots ain't great. Ah! This might knock back my OC punch. Ah, right, let's try and get out of here. We were heading west, I think. South, east, west. Let's, uh. Oh, yeah, this way. Right, I'm gonna get out of here because uh, I can't carry anything else already. I really should have just brought a shelf box with me and not been a Muppet. But, oh, well, you're living, you learn. Right, I'm gonna once again bring you in and I'll find another one. Okay, this really did not go as planned. Unfortunately, I had F3 out because I was on the ground and a bit lost. <laughs> so, I'm just going to quickly make a note of those coordinates. And uh, we'll be back here in a jiffy. Well, that, <laughs> that wasn't the plan. Fortunately... I was smart and put spare rockets away. No idea if that's enough rockets, but... Spare rockets, spare elytra, spare food. Eh. Take this gunpowder, grab some more paper and... Make some more rockets. Perfect. And what I'll do is I'll be smart. Take a couple of shulker boxes with me this time. Right, let's go. I'll be back when I'm back at my stuff. Okay, right, we're nearly back. We're only a few hundred blocks out now. Hey, what? Oh, really? Goodness gracious me. Uh, right. Where were we? Aha! Oh. Boom, all this stuff, right. Chuck all these in here. Is that everything? Wings. Let's swap that out. You, 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 you. All that jazz. Fireworks, fireworks, spare pies. That. I'll put that in there. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. Fantastic. Beautiful. I'm going to keep one of those out. All right. So, is it back this way? That little one we just found? Uh, yes, it was. This one's just a little dinky baby. 
And I've actually remembered to bring some shulkers with me this time. That means I can grab the elytra, grab any loot. And I've got to put my sword on my hotbar. Turn out a 10 planet. Ooh, head, thank you. Let's pop that down there. Don't know what use the hose is going to be. Wait, did I get my... I did. Thank you. Ooh. Concern. Thought I'd lost my nice my uh, my other pick then. Another elytra. Don't know why I'm collecting elytras at this point. I have plenty, but you know. Oh yeah, that one's full. We are going to have a ton of books right now. I can actually go down and go hunt down the shulkers for their shells because they're now once again useful to me. Don't care. Got him, got him. Thank you. So I wish we found some larger cities today, but nope. Just finding the little ones. So okay, that one apparently faced straight through me. Not that I'm complaining in any way. Yeah, this one's boring. Alright, let's um I know roughly where one is supposed to be. And it is this direction. Oh, for, for goodness sake, not again. Where is he? Oh, he's... Oh! <laughs> we got via Shulker. Uh-oh. Like, can't get me up here. <laughs> right, let's get out of here <laughs> before I die again. Given I've got all my gunpowder's worth of rockets on me. Yeah, we're heading roughly in this direction. Because I think there's one this way. Because I passed one when I was travelling out here. My inventory was full and I needed to get out because my elytra was nearly dead. But I took a picture of the coordinates, and it should be out this way somewhere. But I think it's in the positive Z. I've got like 4,730 positive Z430, somewhere around there. We've overshot a little on that coordinate. Right, well... Uh, We'll get to this one. We'll see what's here, and then we'll get out. Probably. Oh, I found it. Oh, it's another boat one. I have to set up a bloody elytra shop at the going rate. Yeah, I didn't raid it. Good, good, good. Hello again. I've killed several of your family today. That's not cruel in the slightest to say. Ooh, more diamonds. More tools and stuff. Take the tools all the way. Take the diamonds, but I know it's not efficient because they're all going in the shulk box. That I could that there's already they're already in other ones. It's not space efficient in the slightest. I could get the dragon's head, but I really can't be bothered. Again, another tiny one. What is it today with tiny ends end thingies? Right, where was the end there's there's an end gateway near here as well. The one I escaped through last time. Oh, we can get that over here. Uh, was it over this way? Hello, end gateway. Where are you? Okay, hold on. Over here. This way, I think. Might have been. Nope, this is a different one. Must be a few. To be fair, they can be quite dense. Right, okay, well, we did like a tiny bit of end raising because it all went wrong part way through. But we'll take stock of what we got. Let's pop out of here. Also, I have come up with a idea for a mini game, so depending on how long this clip is. I might pop over to the minigame section and lay out the idea for a minigame and explain it to you. 
But let's pop downstairs then. Yes, I know. Hmm. Oh, I could get so many mending books now. Once again, my floor is being filled with shulkers. Right. Take all of the elytra out of here. Uh, I'm going to need just a box for wings. Uh, I'm going to be silly and call it that. No endorsement of a certain fried chicken brand. But it's a box of wings. Which does kind of make sense. Away you go. Ah, oh, same colors as my redstone box. Whoops. And this one's nearly dead, but we can just do some trading, get some more stuff. So what have we got in terms of uh, non of stackable weight that can come out? We have a metric ton of books, which can go in the misc items chest for now. They will get their own space eventually. I have a bunch of tools. That's mine. Enchanted books. Oh, yes, no, I can't wait for the chiseled bookcases to come out. That's going to be a good one. Misc items. I think you live in there. Actually, no, you're a hostile mob drop, aren't you? Get in there. I mean, technically, Prismarine as well, is as well. I'm considering setting up a Prismarine farm. Just for, just for the modern lights, I think they'd fit the aesthetic of the uh, major build. This base, so f overall, I don't have a tools chest. I do have one for armor. Uh, let's make this one tools. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I tend to keep them in just the backup in the spare tools thing, don't I? Right. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my organizing, go grab a bunch of stuff, and then I'm gonna head to the mini games area. So I will be back. In a second. Okay, welcome to our gaming district. It is a big old mushroom island. You know what? Uh, any of the, I've not really actually explored this. I found it on the map with the seed and decided this would be the best place for our mini games. Plus, you know, the benefit of uh, no mobs. So, uh, my idea. Well, my idea is <laughs> it's actually a ripoff of another property. An entirely unrelated show, but I came up with a brilliant pun. And also, I'm stealing an idea from ZAF. A little bit with something he came up with recently. Get this mushroom out of here. Be gone, mushroom. So, uh, Minecraft has a number of items that we would consider bakeable in real life. Bread, cake, pumpkin pie. What is there, actually? What else is there? I feel like there's more. Ah, nothing useful in there. What can, what can you bake? Obviously, pumpkin pie. Yeah, anyway. We can, we can go further than baking. But I want to basically create a scenario where people will make foods without using the recipe guide here. So, if anyone has ever watched British television, a particular show moved from BBC One to Channel 4, and um, I'm not going to name it, but it, it, it is quite famous. And I want to approximate that here on Bridgecraft. So, I've got myself some white wool. Oh, it's getting, uh, it doesn't matter if it gets dark here, does it? I've literally just stated why. So, I'm going to try and approximate the, uh, the structure this TV show is hosted in out of white wool and glass. 
white wool is the material of choice because it's the closest we can get to canvas in Minecraft. Perfect. Yep, this is gonna work, probably. So, I'm just quickly gonna whip this together, then I'll reveal the name of the game. Well, I'll whip together the frame. I'll need glass and a floor. The floor will take a minute or two. But I'll get that finished ASAP. You might need to punch out a couple more mushrooms. But, yep, I'll be back with you once this is done. Okay, we have finished the build for our first mini game here on the server. Uh, it doesn't look that much. It kind of resembles a particular tent like structure. Ooh, I haven't quite finished it. I've made a mistake. Oh. Oops. Thank you. Let's finish this little bit off up here. And then we're done. Then it's finished. So yeah, this this game is based on a TV show and uh, something come up with by Zedaf in a recent episode of Hermitcraft. Uh, it needs interior stations, etc. This is going to be the pantry, and uh, let me just uh, get into character here. I'm going to do my best impression of one of the hosts of the show, um, but actually give the mini game name. So. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Great British Cooking Competition. Yep, it's a bake-off rip-off. So the idea is that you're going to have a selection of... There's going to be like a certain number of items you can make, and it's just whoever the quickest out, whoever's the quickest out of everyone to grab their ingredients from the pantry back here and make the thing. If necessary, we might add things outside, such as a cow pen for milk for cakes, uh, some other stuff. We're going to provide raw ingredients, so sugar cane instead of sugar, etc. But yep, it's a it's a nifty little concept stolen off of, uh, well, not stolen, but borrowed off of Zaf's um, cake race mini game in his latest episode in one of his episodes of Hermitcraft. But yes, uh, so this is. Nice. I came up with this idea the other night, and I thought the pun was too good to miss up. Uh, miss, miss, miss up, miss, pass up. That's it. That's the phrase I'm thinking of. Yep, the pun was too good to pass up. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put a big sign above here. Hashtag um, great uh, GB BC, which is kind of close to GBBO, which is Great British Bake Off one. But yeah, we got our we got our tent. I'm gonna put armor stands in the back for the judges, etc., etc. Just as little decoration things, I need to put all the cooking stations in. But yeah, I'm quite happy with this how it turned out for a relatively low effort build. I'm not gonna lie, didn't put a ton of effort into this, but it should be recognisable for what it is to everyone else. And yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with it. But that is all for today. So thank you ever so much for watching. I will see you next time. Don't forget to do YouTube things as required. And I will see you later. Uh, have a good day. Uh, slash whenever. Slash whatever time period you wish to be good. Goodbye.